Alright guys, Crewman here with another cable installation. I wanted to go over the 4070 if you got the Founders Edition or any other edition that uses the 12 volt high power cable. And in this video I want to just show you how to install this, how many uh, PCIe's you can plug in. Uh, this plug is not the 4090 cable, it does not follow the same rules. And I will show you why with some references. And hopefully this will help you guys install this and you won't have any problems. Uh, I really don't think you will. This is a way lower power cable. But let's get at it. So the first thing to note is this is not a big card. It's a two slot card. Um, now, not all of these will have this cable. Uh, as you can see in the article I'm about to link from videocards.com, some of them will have a single 8 pin, which is good because it gives us a reference point as well. Uh, it looks like the total maximum watts of this thing is only 225. So that means that theoretically you can use one 8 pin and connect it to both of these and you will be fine as long as it's a PCIe 6 to 8 pin because if it's a 6 pin it won't, it won't generate enough watts. If you look at the guide I'm showing right here, that's the holy bible of PCIe cables. If you follow that guide, you'll be fine. So let's go over installing it. All right, guys, I'm going to do it here. Now remember, you need to hear the clip. Now I, you know, I don't think we're going to have any issues with these. We haven't heard many issues with cables catching on fire or anything after we figured out it was an installation error. So let's do it. You ready? Let's slowly slide it in. Okay, now it's it's not clicked. So you ready? You guys hear that click? So that's it. That's all you got to do. I didn't even have it plugged in. Now, if your case is too small, which I doubt it is, you can pre-bend this beforehand like this. I took it out because it's always better to bend them before. So you can pre-bend it like this for a perfect bend. And let's install it again. I'm going to slide it in. And you can hear the click sound. You ready? Click. Okay, now that that's done, let's go over the power requirements for this. Like I said before, it is 225 watts max, uh, you know, stock anyway, which means you can theoretically take one PCIe with two, with two bunnies at the end, something like this. This one's zip tied, but you could take one of these and you could plug both ends into the GPU, which is actually what I will be doing most likely when I use this thing. However, if you don't feel comfortable, you can always just power one per uh, eight pin. So, I mean, it doesn't make a difference, honestly, but you know, some people are better safe than sorry. So anyway, this is not a long video. Uh, I didn't really think I needed to go into much depth, but I just wanted to put that out there that if you have a Founders, and I'm not sure what other models, they will have the 12 volt uh, high power cable. If you have, a di um, I think it's Gigabyte, and there are some other models I don't know off the top of my head. I will share a link down below if I find an article that links it. Um, they will just have regular uh, eight pins on them. So frankly, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I think the most important thing is the price. And uh, I got this one for a pretty good deal. And it is a founder, so I think it looks coolest. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe. Crootman out.